And today I want to talk about having questions in your sales conversation. You know, so many people are afraid to ask questions in a sales conversation because they feel they're going to lose control of the conversation. Number one, always remember that you want your customer to feel like they're in control. The simplest way to do that is to ask open-ended questions to get them feeling comfortable. Why are they going to feel comfortable? They're going to feel comfortable because they're talking about themselves. Nothing better to put someone at ease than to allow them to speak about themselves. Now you direct what you're going to hear because you're going to ask a question like, you to stop and talk to me? What prompted you to call me? What prompted you to message me? And then just sit back and wait for their response. Because within that response, you're going to hear a number of things. You're going to hear why it was they probably contacted you today and not yesterday, or what it is that they've been looking for that they're very frustrated that they haven't found yet. Or you're going to hear that they're really not looking for themselves, they're looking for somebody else. But you don't, won't necessarily always get all of that in the first question. So you're going to ask a second question. You're going to say, or you're going to segue. So you have an option here. So you're going to do, well, tell me more because you want to hear all of their thinking. You can already tell they have a lot of energy behind their answer. They're passionate. They're, they're maybe moving their hands around like I would do. They're excited. They're not excited. They're frustrated. They're angry. Whatever that emotion is, when you say, tell me more, you're going to open up the next floodgate of valuable information. So when you ask open-ended questions, it's like putting a foundation on a new house. It's going to fall apart if it doesn't have enough good stuff for which you can respond with, share how your product would help, and move forward. So see, when you don't ask open-ended questions, you typically get into a pitch. Well, this product is good because, 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 because. Well, you don't know if any of those becauses are of value to your buyer. And by the way, they're not a buyer until you find something of value. So what you really want to be looking at here is how it is you yourself can feel more comfortable when you're talking to people and not feel like you're getting out of control. All conversations will eventually come together and have a smooth ending. What you can't control is the time that it takes or how many times it's going to take with them to get somewhere. But I really, seriously, if you are trying to make sales and you are not asking open-ended questions, then that's the skill that you want to learn. You don't want to learn the skill of sales. You want to learn the skill of opening up a conversation. See, opening up the conversation allows you to have enough information that eventually a sale can be made. You know, you're not in a race when you're making a sale. Sales are not uh, end all, be all, my gosh, I got to do it now kind of thing. Um, depending on what you're marketing, it could take you some time. So what you want to do is the first thing you can do in any sale is anchor that relationship. If you don't anchor that relationship in the beginning, then you're probably not going to get where you want to go, which is a new relationship, a new buyer, a client that could give you referrals, a client that could be someone who uh, comes back to you again for something more. So if you're really looking to build that uh, client base that you'd like to have, you know, you don't need a lot of clients to make you a lot of money. You need the right clients and you find the right clients when you use your open-ended questions at the beginning and know that you're perfectly in control as you build the foundation of that relationship with questions and rapport and feedback and get to the essence of what they're talking about. What are the values that they need to support them in making these this buying choice that you have for them?